C sharp for beginners. To get started, to define a variable, you can simply just type in the variable type. So for example, you could type in float, string, int, and there are several other ones, but none of them are really useful besides the most important one, bool. This is a true or false value. You can also add keywords before your variable type, such as public, static, private, and there are several more. You can also combine keywords such as public, static, or private, static. And then after you give it keywords, so type in the variable type. In this case, I'm just going to type in a string and give it a name. So I can just give it a name of my string. And then you type in equal sign. This will create the variable. And then you give it a value. So for example, I can just give this a value of my string. So this is my string, exclamation point. And then we end the line in a semicolon, just like that. And then that red squiggly will go away. So you just created a variable. To create a function, just type in void and then the function name. So I can just call this my function. Then you open and close parentheses, and then you open and close curly braces. You can also add keywords before functions. So for example, you could add public, you can also do private, static, and you can also mix them. So you could also do something like public, static, or private, static, if you really wanted to. And then in our function, we just define some logic. So I'm just going to say console.log, console.write line, and then I'm just going to pass in my my string and then in that line. So we're putting my string in here. So in this main function, we need to call this function. So just type in my function and then open close parentheses. Now we can see it is giving us a squiggly line because it doesn't have a reference. So just type in static for it and then that will that should allow us to access my string but it doesn't so just go ahead and type in static in front of the string as well and then we can also do a console dot read key this will wait for a this will wait for a key press before it continues the program so i'm just going to go ahead and save that file then click this little green play button here that says start and then we can see the console prints this is my string we can also convert this to, let's just say, a integer. And then I can just give this a different name. Let's just say my int. And then I can give this a value of any whole number. And this includes negative. So I can just say none. And then in here, I input my int like that. And then I can run it. And then we can see it prints nine. We can also make this a boolean. So just go ahead and type in bool. And I can give this a title of my bool and then just set this to either true or false. In this case, I'm just going to set it to true. And then we can print that up there and we should see that it prints true. Yes, it prints true. So if you found this video informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It always helps help the content and helps get people, it helps get content like this recommended to others. Fun Uber, out.